Okay, uh, we're here, uh, we're going to explain how to put a DVD drive inside of a desktop computer. First thing we want to do is we want to remove these four screws on the back of the computer. Then we want to remove both side panels. Side panels come off like this. So you go back and then straight out. And then same on the reverse side, back and then straight out. Okay, now we gotta get this front panel. Either one would work. We're gonna grab the top one in this case. So you gotta reach inside the case here and there's two little tabs that hold it in place. See there's the tabs. So basically if you're in here from the inside like this, if you just push against the tab and you push it inward that direction uh, and push out at the same time, the this whole, you know, this little tab here will fly out. All right, now we got somewhere to insert the DVD into. Comes in from the front. Just like that. And now you can see here on the sides, here's the DVD itself. You see it moving back and forth. And there's where you insert the screws to mount it. And then again on the other side. And there it is. Now, we just have to plug it in. First plug we have, this is for the data. This is a SATA cable. Take one side, plug it in here. Got to plug it into these, one of these SATA ports on the motherboard. And then take the other side, plug it into the DVD. And then last, we gotta get one of these power cables connected. So one of these guys right here is what power, this is a SATA power connector. And that's what you'll plug in your DVD with. And to the power. And there it is. So now we have power and we have data. And then just reassemble the